What's up everybody, it's your boy Marsman here, and today we're going to talk about Halo Infinite and the return of the Tenrai Fracture event. Now with 3 for 3 basically continuing along the pathway of creating these Fracture events that provide free content for players, it was not a surprise that they would return back to Tenrai, which was obviously one of the most liked and enjoyed Fracture events we've seen to date. But I gotta say, I was surprised to see the level of things that they dropped for this event, as well as how much things they were going to kind of show off compared to a lot of other times we've gotten this event but even many others so in this video i'm going to talk about the overall feelings i have about that tenrai event and kind of give my overall opinion about how it performed but before we jump into it if you like this type of content make sure you hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more future content so right off the bat if you don't know tenrai has really been relatively successful when it comes to the overall perception of how this armor core has been shown off. If you're into Japanese culture, into samurai, you would love Tenrai in this entirety because of the fact that you're getting a lot of cool armors, color schemes, stances, emblems, and you name it. And now overall, I'll say the same thing with the third edition of Tenrai because if you take a look, the emblems themselves, if you're a fan of anime at all, it's like the nine tail fox. It is a classic emblem that goes along with the samurai culture. And I really think they did a great job with it. And on top of that, you're getting a lot of great armor pieces that fit pretty well. Helmet that is very unique. I think it has the great helmet attachment that makes it a lot more symmetrical overall. I got to give credit to three for three. The content that they provide for the free passes has always relatively kind of been a banger and i think that they've done a great job with these fracture events to continue them and, and to keep expanding on the free content that's available for us players but along with the content like armor pieces and emblems we also did get a drop of eight different maps that go along with this samurai based art and culture and I think this is really cool because each of these different maps have actually a similarity or kind of a variation of them based on maps that are already in Halo Infinite. Some of them are going to be completely unique. Some of them are going to be mirrors exactly. So it kind of is a very interesting way to kind of show off that these map layouts are actually pretty cool. I think it's actually a pretty damn good job by these forgers to make these maps as similar as possible to some of the maps we know already. But the fact that they have their own kind of twist to them is very unique and i really do appreciate the kind of work that puts into these types of creations you have to give a shout out to these forgers for the work they put in and they definitely should be applauded for basically making these maps that are continually expanding the different variations that we see in halo infinite and not even just that we also did get a few different playlist editions so the tenerai social event is the main one for the entire fracture core and we are going to be getting those different variations of ninja slayer ninja king of the hill ninja capture the flag and each one of those is, is obviously a fun game mode altogether and that's where you're going to get to play these brand new maps the downside of that is that unfortunately this is the only area you get to play these maps and it's only ninja slayer and ninja variants imagine being able to play just standard team slayer in these maps and seeing how it went i feel like it would just make them so much more fun to play and experience so that is definitely a negative in my opinion because it just kind of degrades the type of playlist that you can play in order to experience brand new maps and there's so many of them that's why i feel like it's such a downside but one of the most interesting things that they added was going to be the fact that we are getting that hcs halo free for all playlist which is essentially made to see who can qualify for free for all for the hcs series which you need to play a minimum of 10 matches or a chance to win a trip to Seattle. And I think it was really funny to see like, hey, being able to kind of play some matches, qualify and, and see if you can get there. Um, but I think overall, they have a lot of great additions to these playlists. The maps are pretty spot on. And I just feel like the Tenerai event has done a pretty solid job here at making people feel intrigued to come back to play, having free additions so that people feel as if it's worth their time. And I always was pleased to see how the Tenerai core came out. And I feel like they've always added some really cool customizations that go along with it. But what do you think about the Tenerai event? Are you excited for its return? Are you playing it yourself? Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you like this type of content, make sure you hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more future content. Until next time, this is Marsman signing off. Peace out, guys.